right, so first what you want to do is you want to go to getpaint.net. This will be in the description below. Getpaint.net. And then after that, go to get it now. Download now. And then free download now. And then I already have it installed, so I don't need to install it again. So once you've installed paint.net, there's also going to be a link to a bunch of paint.net plugins that I suggest you download because you're going to need them for the tutorial. Just make sure to install all the plugins and you'll be fine. Okay, so first what you want to do is you want to go to File, New, and then make the width 1000 and then make the height 1000 too so that uh, it makes a square. So click OK. And then after that, go to your magic wand tool, left click on the white background, and then just press Control X because you don't need it. And then you should see these checkerboards. So uh, after that, go to File, Open, and then we're just going to open up the uh, wallpaper that we're going to use. This wallpaper is from uh, this company called Bape. It's like this army camo texture. So uh, once you open it up, just press Control C, and then go back to the square. I'm going to close this. Go back to this and then press Control V, which pastes it. And then after that, uh, select keep canvas size like that. And then you can like uh, move it around if you want. I don't think it really matters. I'm just going to do something like this and then deselect it. And then after that, add a new layer. And then we're just going to start uh, on the text. So go to your text tool right here, click anywhere, uh, and then pick a font. I'm going to use the font uh, Surfing Capital. Where's okay, right there? Oops. Surfing capital, and then make the font really big so you can see it. Uh, I'm gonna make it like 350. That should be good. And then uh, I'm just gonna put my name. Oops. All right, it's a bit laggy right now. Also, uh, change the color to white, like that. Okay, it's kind of glitchy right now. I'm not sure why. And then after that, go to Effects, Object Align, and then Center Both, so that it's perfectly in the middle. And then after that, uh, go to your colors over here, and then change the black to this gray right here, and then swap colors so that white is your primary color. And then uh, go to your Magic Wand tool, zoom in, and then just press uh, Shift, and then left click on the text like that. So it should select everything. And then after that, go to your Gradient tool, left click and then drag from the top to the bottom like that and then it should make this cool gradient so deselect it okay and then after that go to effects photo and then glow like that I'll lower the brightness a bit and then I'm gonna try and bring up the contrast like that click OK and then after that go to effects object and then drop shadow I'll make the shadow color black and then lower the widening radius and bring up the blur radius like that. Actually, I'm gonna bring up the widening radius too, to something like seven and 24. So click OK. And then after that, go to effects, distort, and then go down over here to uh, waves. This plugin will be available uh, in the description below. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna play around with this. Uh, I'm gonna make the Y radius, Y effect bigger. And then also, I'm going to do something like this so that the text is curved like that as you can see. Click OK. And then I'm just going to go to Effects, Object Align, and then Center Both again to center it. And then after that, duplicate this. Uh, drag this below the original text layer. And then what you want to do is uh, go to your Move tool, left click, and then just use your air, uh, down arrow key and just click on it. And it should create this shadow. I'm going to bring it over to the left too, so I'm going to use my left arrow key like that. Deselect it. And then go back to the top and select merge layer down. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to move it to the center because paint on it is kind of buggy for me right now. So I'm, I'm going to have to center it uh, manually. And then after that, go to file, open. And then in the description below, there's going to be a link uh, or like a download to uh, all these light leaks that I suggest that you use. So I'm going to open up light leak number one and then press control C once you've opened it, go back to the profile picture, add a new layer and then press control V like that, select to keep canvas size, uh, hold shift and then uh, left click and then drag the corners like that. 
deselect it, and then go to uh, layers, properties, and then change the blending mode to something like color dodge or maybe difference. Or, no, not difference. Uh, we're gonna have to play around with this. I like color dodge right now. All right, I'm gonna go with color burn since I think that looks the best. Click OK. One more thing we can do is we're gonna blur the background a bit because I, I think it's too distracting. So uh, go to the background and then go to effects, blurs, and then Gaussian blur. I'm gonna bring it up to like, let's try four. Click OK. And then you should be done. After that, go to File, Save As, and then save it anywhere on your desktop. So uh, I'm just gonna save it like to my pictures, name it whatever you want. Profile picture, yay. Click OK, and then click OK again, click Flatten, and you should be done. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, go ahead and leave a like, comment, uh, tell me your thoughts on this, and uh, tell me if you guys want me to do more tutorials in the future. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time and peace out.